The City of Light is now reopening its doors. This city has been making people's skin shine a priority for over 20 years. Technicality, sensoriality, sensuality. These are inspiring the latest creations with intoxicating scents. A stone's throw from Place Vendôme, Sophie Van Guyon needed an architectural jewel as a setting, and this is what she developed in collaboration with one of the most luxurious establishments in the French capital, Le Maurice, run by a person who over time has become much more than just a partner. Franca Altman. Franca Hoffman has been managing director of Le Maurice for many years. She's a friend, but she is also a landmark, an icon of our Swiss values, represented here in the heart of Paris. I've been coming here for 10 years, and it's always a pleasure for me to rediscover my Parisian address, and it's a great pride, finally, to celebrate the Valmont brand, which concentrates all this friendship that has been created, and which brings together all of our creations of recent years. And I'm very happy to welcome you here, in the very heart, in the very beating heart of the city that I love so much. La Maison Valmont pour Le Maurice is a nice way to close the circle and to give another dimension to this beautiful collaboration. We meet now with a person with a communicative smile who carries all the effectiveness of their products with them. Hello, Jeremy. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for welcoming us to the Maison Valmont pour Le Maurice, the brand new boutique located on Rue de Castiglione, which brings together all your expertise. Could you please show us around? Avec plaisir. Alors, with pleasure. So, La Maison Valmont is a consecration. It is the place where you will find in Paris Valmont to begin with, a rather technical anti-aging range where I wanted to reconcile a lot of sensorialities. My favorite is the Prime Renewing Pack. It is the best companion to have, the best accomplice for a fresh complexion. You apply it every morning and it's your Photoshop in five minutes. And this product, by the way, is called around the world Happy Mask or Cinderella Mask. For me, it is my best companion. Next, I'll take you to Elixir des Glaciers. This is our premium range. It is in fact the meeting of very high technicality, at very high percentages of concentration, and very rapid efficiency. And finally, our last is Storie Veneziane, a collection of 15 very different and very particular scented creations. Opening in Paris was really important to you. It's where you grew up, right? Yes, opening up in Paris was obvious to me. Paris is the city of my youth, but it remains a landmark for all fashion and design creations, and it remains the city of light and the capital of fashion. So, Sophie, a little secret of mine is that I love your aesthetic for these bottles. Here we have Murano glass, right? Yes, absolutely. Art is present everywhere in the Valmont house, since it is the soul, the presence and the signature of Didier Guillon that ensures that everything is in aesthetic harmony. And this Storie Veneziane collection is a collection that we created with four hands. He took care of giving an extremely artistic scale to the bottles, and I took care of all the olfactory collections, where I made sure that each person who would use these perfume extracts could find their partner, their olfactory accomplice. Sophie then dreamt up two new collections, Palazzo Nobile, composed of six crystal clear, fresh and elegant eau de toilette. The Collezioni Privata pays homage to the women of the world, with three eau de parfum adapted to the temperament of each one, a sort of intimate accessory, dressed in the favorite color of Sophie Van Guyon. A boutique where French chic is combined with the romanticism of Venetian art. The highlight is a relationship between the Swiss house and the spa of the Parisian palace that has lasted for more than 10 years. This splendid spiral staircase in the background serves as a link. What I find wonderful is this direct access to the city from the Rue de Castiglione, which sends you towards the serenity, the voluptuousness of your therapist's arms. Vous élancez vers la sérénité, la volupté des bras de votre thérapeute.
Les Parisiennes, Parisiennes love Valmont. We offer them the technicality, the science and a luxury setting. The art of cosmetics, two words shared by Sophie and Didier Guillon, who are waiting for us elsewhere in store to reveal a new face, that of their son, Maxence. Let's find out. The reason is very simple. It's that in 2022, and not in 2021, Maxence will take over the presidency of the Valmont Foundation. Maxence, how do you feel about this? It's very symbolic, since my father has a real passion for art. There's still a big amount of trust between us two, and it gives me great pleasure to take over these responsibilities in 2022. Can I ask him a question? Art for you, it has a meaning, it interests you. Do you feel that there is a family DNA? Yes, I think there is a family DNA. We've been immersed in art since our youngest age, and on each trip we visited two or three museums a day. Each time, we tried to understand the symbolism of the artist, his bias through his works. And this is why, resuming this kind of activity with all the new work, that we're going to acquire, it'll continue this family passion that we have for art. Each store is unlike any other. Each Valmont boutique is different. There must be an empathy on the part of the decorator towards the city in which we're going to open a Maison Valmont. Here you had to soak up the Parisian universe and the Rue de Castiglione. So we wanted something very clear, very luminous, very elegant. Then we put in emblematic elements, like this chandelier by Aristide Najon. And of course, works of art that are on Rue de Castiglione or inside the shop. Murano glass, symbol of the Venice-based foundation, goes perfectly with this frame, imagined in collaboration with interior designer Martin Corto. And since it's this mask that allowed us to discover you, Maxence, could you show it to us and tell us a little more about it? In fact, this mask has a particularity. It's that each mask is different. Since it's handmade and there's craftsmanship behind it, each mask is different. And I find that great because it's exclusive and each person has their own work of art in their home. The Valmont Foundation seeks to stand out in a way. Is that how you would define it? I would say whoever breaks the codes a little, they have intuition, artistic sensitivity, they're very atypical and unconventional. As Maxence said, we're going to break the rules with the Valmont Foundation, that is to say, that we'll try to anticipate perhaps trends, or to get around them. We do not have to do like everyone else, if the period is grey, we're going to colour it. The artist Christy Lee Rogers, who reminds Didier Guillon of a certain Delacroix, offers a colourful dialogue with the chandelier of Aristide Najon. In the basement, on the other hand, the artistic influence is quite different. David Tremlett is downstairs in the secret room. He worked with Sol Lewitt. And Sol Lewitt, he's kind of my teacher. It's the American minimalist period of the 60s. And since David Tremlett worked with him, he did wall paintings, I found his work very interesting. And so you'll find a representation below. I suggest we go take a look. Let's go down. You go first, future president. <laughs> So we're in what's called the secret room. It's a place of immersion through images, where the client will be accompanied either to rest, because she's waiting for a treatment on the first floor, or because after the treatment she wants to relax and have a pastry from Cédric Grollet. And she'll be able to watch films also, which will be projected on the vault. And I understand that one of your latest creations is kind of a tribute to your children. You're talking about the perfume I imagined, Scarface, that I created to mark this intergenerational transition, and for which I also composed a small painting which was produced in 100 copies and which will be sold with this perfume. Besides, I still allow myself to perfume Maxence. So what do you think of this perfume? I love it. I would say that Scarface, for a foundation like Valmont, is stepping out of our comfort zone and offering totally different things. They tell you what to think, what to write, what to do. Do you want to be a sheep? To this famous question from Tony Montana, Didier Guillon replies no.